All right, guys, what's going on this way? Oh, no, not another one. Uh, yeah, see, now the one on the end, he didn't have the lifter rail out, so it's likely not a ticker. This one's likely a ticker because the rails are out. Okay, oh, man, just had a new water pump on it, too, guys. See, look at the carbon buildup, guys. See, a lot of that fuel play a role in it. And guys, I don't know about you, but everyone I've done mostly was an MDS car, equipped with MDS, so I know it's. Okay, now there are some, uh, I think the 6.4s do not have the MDS setup. I have yet to do a ticker on a 6.4. <laughs> Can anybody put two and two together? I don't know. But, so one could argue that could literally start up a whole nother conversation, a whole nother debate. And come to think of it, yes, I have never done a ticker job on a 6.4 uh, where, where's the fail lifter? He got the head out, but look at all that carbon buildup, guys. I should have gloves on, yes, guys, I admit. But look at that. Now, I'm not saying because the engine is equipped with MDS, that's what's causing that. No, that's not what I'm uh, saying. I'm just, it could be a coincidence. I don't know. Now, I don't know any of you other techs out there that do these often. Uh, try to gauge the ones you're doing and see if they're equipped with, uh, see if the, all the ones you're doing equipped with MDS all noise. Okay, let's do it like that. Where is the fail? Where is the head? Oh, he got it over here. Yeah, he got his little neat two set up, but there go two more rockers, I assume. Yep, it's it right here. That is reason why it's ticking, guys. And I like the little neat tool he built. So he pulled the head off and find out that it is a ticker. Ah, oh, it's a shame that brand new water pump gotta come off. <laughs> Cause the cam has to come out. Now this guy, me, guys, I I'm a different breed, I guess. I remove radiator and I'll I want to catch him doing this job so we can see. Now, it might be if it's too reckless looking, I'm not going to show it, guys. Uh, yes, I don't hate on anybody. The, if the ending goal is the car running, is quiet, and nothing's broken, so be it. How you get there is on you. But if I come over here sneaking and recording while he's taking the cam out and he got the engine out, everything looked just completely reckless, no, I'm going to shut the camera off. And I'm not going to criticize him because that's the way he do it. And he's fast doing it that way. And he get it done. Again, that's the end goal, getting it done. But for me, I have to remove a lot of this stuff. Um, I'm just not comfortable. I don't, I don't know how he do it, so I'm not going to criticize. And guys, I would never criticize another technician for the way they do things. No. Okay, that's crazy. That's absurd. That's absurd. So, But it is interesting to see because he's extremely fast at it. By the time I get half of the, I don't take the complete bump off. Everybody got their own way. My neighbor down there, he do it a special way. Okay. Uh, you got to find out which way works for you. <laughs> okay. That is your goal to find out which way. But it's a shame. This new alternate water pump has to come off. And he got to come up with enough clearance. Some cats can jack the engine up. Loosen the bolts off the transmission where the whole engine will come off. Remember, there's no heads on here. So you got a little room to come all the way up. If you can clear this while sliding that cam out so that means you're going to have to be perpendicular like that <laughs> so that engine will have to be of course the motor mounts i mean just loosen the mounts if you have both heads off already there's nothing to taking those two motor mount bolts off and jacking the engine all the way up you also have clearance back here because there's nothing you got the intake off so it's pretty obvious all right that's how I did the last one, but I was so paranoid. Yeah, I took a bunch of stuff out. And you can easily damage the radiator, okay? Any nick, but you can barely graze a radiator. But guys, look at all this carbon buildup. This is... A lot of guys ask me about uh, catch cans and oil inside the intake. What can you do to help prevent that? Um, my thinking behind that, if, if the manufacturer thought you, the car would be better equipped with a catch can they would have installed one now if you've changed uh things on your car that can now you know the end results be oil all in your intake then yes you should install a catch can but straight from the factory oem factory equipped vehicle a factory equipped hemi engine in the eyes of fca 
at the time they found no reason to add a catch can okay a catch can to the car to help with that um or circulation all right so um they uh they didn't put one on it hey did he see this you doing this over here with him yeah i just tore the head off oh you did mm -hmm. did y'all see that make sure y'all don't well you'll know when you get ready to plug something in it if you don't you see that bent no the customer don't want to fix the car holy crap so he paid for tear down time so. yeah send it out where it's got to be told out exactly, that's what I'm saying. holy that's why man they need to have a base estimate for what 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 it the window exactly. a window because you tell somebody six hours to tear something down in their minds they might think that's all it costs and then you come back and tell them I need five thousand dollars. Oh my goodness, man! Right, because he probably ain't got it. Man. Oh hell. Oh, I can imagine what that estimate looked like. Remember, guy, just uh, did we do this water pump? So he just bought a water pump. I mean, some some people can't catch a break, man. Some God, I feel bad for the dude. You got to tow this nice car out of here. Yes, this is me. I mean, it's. Oh no, poor dude. <laughs> oh, not another one of these red calibers. Red caliper doers. <laughs> I just got beat up on a, a charger with a red caliber. Is these things on right? That, yeah, I, you know, when you get burnt, that'd be the first thing you look for. Yes, the bleeder screw is uh above the input <laughs> after you've gotten burnt look he got the part he even got the parts sitting here he must have called and changed his mind no i mean the customer called and changed his mind like look i just found out i ain't got the money because there's all the parts you got the can shaft you can't just that you know how much trouble that would be to tow this out to another shop don't know mechanic wanted to work on nothing Dang. Wow, that was a scary moment, guys. So, moral of the story is the teardown time procedure needs to be better explained to the customer, guys, because there could be some terrible confusion, all right? Yes, it's six hours to tear it down. And teardown means actually tear, take things apart, both heads and the front. Okay, but there's so far we can go to determine what we need. So we don't necessarily have to tear a lot of things down. But if the customer come out here and he, he done paid six hours for you to tear it down, he come out, all he see is one head, he might get a little offended. But you didn't tear the other side down. My friend, I found out all I need to know by just tearing this down. It just, that's what it costs. That's what tear down time consists of. So it depends on how you read into the word tear down time. All right, so it's a, you know, it's up to you how you comprehend it, but I don't know, guys. Stay tuned for the saga continue. If he, uh, if he actually, I don't know. We'll know tomorrow because the dude will be here tomorrow. So if I get here in the morning and he's slamming this, <laughs> slamming this in, you know the customer done got a loan or something. He said, go for it. All right, guys, stay tuned. I'll let y'all know. Uh, thanks for watching.